I just thought about the bull bar here, uh, seeing it as a second entry buy. I'm looking to scalp out a half at 20 cents. Oh, sorry, half at 30 cents. Not a great entry bar there. I think buyers below. Um, but not what I wanted to see. I'm not sure if I should get out break even here or move my order down to 20 cents instead of 30 cents. And I think I'll scalp up all instead of half if we get there. Looks like I may get stopped out here. It's gonna be a pretty big loss because I traded full size on it. Uh, I thought it was a good entry. But not a great way to start a Friday. Uh, down 10 bucks. <laughs> but I, I'm happy with that entry. I think it was okay. The only thing I can think of uh, in this situation is that bear bar follow the bear bar entry bar. Um, it looks like um, we didn't go back above the buy signal. So as soon as that bar closed, we had um, a flush down. So what I could have done is when I see the bad entry bar, I just exit at the market, but I just didn't think it was warranted at that point. I thought the signal bar was good enough and tail on the bottom of this bar so that there'd be buyers below. So I don't, uh, I'm not sure if I should fall into a trap of just trying to figure out what I did wrong. Maybe it's just, um, just one of those that doesn't work because it's, it's a $10 loss, which is big, but it's also just one, it's, a um, one losing trade. So the other day I took, um, second entry buy up here, this bar, much smaller signal bar. Today was a bigger signal bar. So maybe it was too, more like a trading range, but um, second entry buy and I made five, $5 on it. So today I lost $10 um, and $5 only because the swing portion didn't go anywhere. If it had it gone up to the highs, had I held it up to the highs, I would have made more than $10. So losing $10 on a trade like this, I'm okay with but I just wanna know if there is something here that I could have done to avoid it. Here the entry bar is a bear bar, a bear doji, and here the entry bar is a bull bar, closing around its midpoint. So definitely more strength here. I just don't know if seeing a bear bar like that is enough to warrant an exit. I don't think it is, but it might be. I don't know if, how many examples I have. Um, with really bad follow through, uh, like a, a bare body follow through. So I'm not exactly sure what the adjustment is here, but I have to make sure I don't fall, I don't um, try to make it all back now. I gotta stay disciplined and make sure I, I just do the right things. Okay, this is a little bit confusing. Um, after this bull signal bar here formed, I bought above it and I had a stop down here and then I questioned myself thinking, am I just taking this with a wide stop? But normally I'd like to see a small breakout and then a double bottom or consecutive bull bars. But this is still a pretty tight channel. I don't usually take these. And so once I entered, I was like, I was just thinking, am I doing what I said I shouldn't do? Which is just to try to take as many trades as possible to make up for the, the loss. So. I don't know if you can see, but there's a blue arrow and a red arrow right next to it. So as soon as I took it, I just thought I'm not, I don't, I'm not trading the way I should. So I just exited right away. So I think I took like a three cent loss there or something, five cent loss. And then when the doji formed here, I thought buyers were low. So I bought, um, I bought right here, uh, ten cents below the, below of the doji, and just looking for twenty cents. So I. I bought down here and um, I sold out to break even because I, when I pressed buy, I had the same or, uh, share size up, as up here, but I wanted to scale in. So I had to cut down my share size a bit. So I just cut it down there. Um, and then I got filled here at 20 cents on seven shares. It has two arrows because it gave me a partial fill at first. And then it, so it filled three first, then it filled the next four. So it just showed up as two arrows for some reason. So I think I made a dollar something on that trade. So at 948 now, um, if I end up taking seven trades today, 
that's clearly an example of, um, of me over trading, trying to make back the loss. So I shouldn't be taking a crazy amount of trades. It should be, I've already taken three. I wouldn't count this one as a trade though. The one I just exited right away. So a one and two, my average is like three or four. So I should probably see two or one or two good setups today and take those and, um, and make whatever I do on those. But I, I can't be, I can't force it. Uh, I can't take trades just to make up the loss. So I hope today goes as planned. Um, I need to forget about this number for now and just trade like it's a regular day. And hopefully if I just keep doing the right things, um, that I'll, I'll make up for the loss and more over time. So I, I guess that's a good mindset. It's just, okay, I'm down 948. I was, I was up 950, I think, or nine something after that big loss, $17 loss. So I'm actually, after today, I'm back to zero, back to break even. So, and that's okay. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively big loss, but it's just the average. It's what I'm risking per trade. So it's a one trade loser, not a big deal. But if I just say, okay, I'm gonna give myself until or two weeks to make up this loss or one week to make up this loss. And I don't have to force it all today. Um, just I can just trade the plan and uh, follow my process for the day. I bought above this bull bar here. Um, it's a, a bear channel and also a bull flag because we gapped up and we're testing around 50%. We're also testing yesterday's high uh, and we have some pretty good bull bars on the way down. But this one I didn't buy, it was a second entry buy, but I didn't buy it because it was a six bar bear micro channel. Um, now we got a double top, broke the low and then got another bull signal. It's a bull inside bar. Now this bar is, this bear bar is big, but the bull signal bar is also um, has decent strength. So I thought it'd be a reasonable buy above. Feeling um, a little extra nervous because um, I don't want to lose another trade. And that's not a good entry bar. I don't know if I should exit the low there. I think I should exit the low there. Be extra careful. All right, so I got stopped out below there. I lost like three bucks on that, uh, two dollars. Down 11.60 now. Ah, uh, God, frustrating. I um, think I'm just gonna be done for the day. I don't think there's any way I can trade um, with a clear head right now. I think, um, yeah, I just gotta, I gotta call it today. So I'll be back Monday, but um, yeah, I'm done for the day.